Dr. Jeffrey Trent is a visionary leader who has never stopped working to find answers for patients. He is one of the most respected genomic scientists in the world and is being honored in 2020 with the AZ Bio Pioneer Award for Lifetime Achievement. As president and research director of the Translational Genomics Research Institute, an affiliate of City of Hope, he continues to work to seek out and find important insights into the genetic basis of cancer, while leading a team of scientists who are working to find answers to some of our greatest health challenges. We sat down recently to discuss his journey, his work, and the impact TGen is making on the lives and the people in our community. When you were at NIH, you developed a vision for a translational research institute to leverage what we were learning about the human genome. What is translational research and how is that different from basic research or clinical research? Translational research is looking in the eye of the person across from you and saying, I'm gonna make a difference for you today. How can I use every bit of existing information, every bit of existing data to make a difference for the individual? To me, that is the roadmap for translational research. We build on basic research, of course, understanding pathways that allow us to develop drugs that could certainly be more targeted, but, but how do we pull together the information? It's really an information play uh, that is so critically important. And it's making a difference right now in the lives of people around the world. Whether it's uh, cancer data, uh, whether it's COVID data, the ability for us to see data broadly across the world has never been greater than it is today. When we look at bringing TGen to Arizona, you know, a lot of people don't know that you are a, a native Phoenician. You had this super high-powered job at the NIH, and you were doing all this important work. What brought you home? The opportunity at the NIH to participate in the completion of the first human genome project was outstanding. The opportunity, though, to take that information and use it to benefit an individual patient sitting across from you today was really what drove me to think that the NIH is a great place for these common good projects, but if we could come up with a, a strategy to have a nonprofit research institute sit in between industry, academia, and government, that would be the model for the future. Tijin's work and your work you know, has been very focused on cancer, but cancer is not the only thing that happens at TGen. What are some of the other health challenges that TGen researchers are working on today? Yeah, so here in our headquarters building by Copper Square in Flagstaff with our TGen North group and at uh, Honor Health with our clinical trials group with our rare childhood clinics. We work broadly across disease areas that range from cancer, neurologic diseases, pathogens like COVID, plague, and a number of others. Really, we're much more like an area that focuses on human health and disease than we are one that focuses only on cancer. In 2016, TGen formed an alliance with City of Hope. How has that helped to move TGen's work on behalf of patients and their families? Well, you know, City of Hope's 150 years old. They're able to focus effort and energy, particularly in cancer. And they're an area that has been among the leaders in the immune treatments, are using our own body's immune system to actually implement uh, changes in, in disease, particularly in the area of cancer treatment. The opportunities that in genomics had not been those that r really were the focus of effort at City of Hope. So bringing these two groups together, one that's focused particularly on immunology, one that's focused on genomics, how those two have come together has been remarkably transforming. TGen has been a cornerstone of hope for so many people. What is your hope for the future of science? In the area of human health, in the area of using 
these tools and technologies, we have to combine efforts to make a difference. And Arizona in the past has been a collaborative, cooperative state. We need to continue to be, uh, to really uh, band together uh, to be able to accomplish things that hopefully uh, very few uh, will be able to even come close to accomplishing. So delighted to be here, great decision to put TGen in the midst of this uh, a wonderful state and hoping we continue to make a difference for the future.